Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya being united under Gashagua. Oh, Mount Kenya is united more than ever before. Mm -hmm. And they have one leader now. Mm -hmm. Regarding Gashagua. So that's what you believe? That's what Okay, proceed with what you were saying yes. about the president. Uh -huh. uh, and that, that's, that's all I'm saying. The, the mm -hmm. president must have realized that Gashagua is a much more important person. He needs him more than... And the politics of the country being what you can now see, he can no longer be sure that he, he has Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. Because the, I think the president and his handlers and mm -hmm. must have calculated that if they have Raila and Mdabadi, then they have Western Kenya, mm -hmm. the Luya and the Luo, and the, the Kisi and the rest of that kind of mm -hmm. But the reaction to his teaming up with Raila has shown him he was wrong. Mm -hmm. When Raila comes to his camp, mm -hmm. he's not bringing any political capital. In fact, is a liability. Mm -hmm. So there's no way Raila will beef up Ruto's numbers. Mm -hmm. And that's why Ruto had to run, jump back and run back to Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. He may say no, but that's the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you believe Ruto is back you, to Gashagwa? But, <laughs> but people have told him, this, this, this dalliance of yours with Raila, we don't want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, the only option he thought you... once he joins Raila or they join with Raila, oh, let us have a di dialogue or conversation. Mm -hmm. People are told them off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he realizes, oh, the calculation based on Raila and Mdavadi mm -hmm. bringing the numbers to replace Gashago was a wrong calculation. Okay. So quickly back to Mount Kenya. Mm. And now, his coming back to Mount Kenya does not mean the people of Mount Kenya will begin laughing with him and loving him. No, he can only get them mm. through Gashagwa. Okay. Now tell me, tell me, tell me how the fall of, because here we are, you're talking about uh, the uh, unity of the Mount Kenya region. Uh, tell me, uh, uh, what, 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 what the fall of uh, uh, Professor Kithure Kindiki uh, has actually done to the uh, leadership position and stature of the Gashagwa in Mount Kenya region? You see, Gashagwa has been a, a rising star. Mm -hmm. He has been on the rise. Mm -hmm. So all these small things like you know, Kithure Kindiki being removed from cabinet and there is just icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. He was already on the top of Mount Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just adding my jacket because it's called mm -hmm. a heavy jacket, bomber jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But back then, of course, you, you see, the, he had, because uh, the many times that he talked, he seemed to have had a problem with the interior, the former interior CS. Of course, he uh, and, and, it, yeah. and blamed a lot of things on him. Yeah, yeah. Right and now, he recently told the president uh -huh. to the face yes. that these people want to, your government to be unpopular. Mm -hmm. These interior people. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with again, the, that war he has won. Mm -hmm. His, you know, he, his fight with the interior mm -hmm. has paid mm -hmm. off. Because now, his family in charge. Okay. And the things that, the, the, the benefit of, of, of the fight against illicit alcohol, mm -hmm. the benefit that they were being reversed by the interior people, mm -hmm. the, the, the thing now is again being reversed. Mm -hmm. He's once more in charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, Anybody uh, attempting to open those buses is mm -hmm. in problems mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't want us to get <laughs> I don't want us to get into the conversation about the reconstitution of the new cabinet. Yes. But then do you think that perhaps the but I've president talked about it already? Uh, yes. uh, well and good, but do you think that the president would perhaps reconsider bringing back Hidura Kindiki? And would that be problematic to the deputy president, Rigadi Kashagwa? But I said it would be a bad move. Mm -hmm. Yes. For the likes of uh, uh, the able professor to be brought back. Yeah. Mm. Anybody from that cabinet? Mm -hmm. I've, said so it very of them. I've said it very clearly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so here we are. You're saying here that uh, the, it seems that uh, the uh, deputy president Rigadi Gashago has merged top. And uh, look at even the fall of Eden Duali because right now it's like Eden Duali is the only person who was uh, <laughs> hindering his access to the choppers. Once he's gone, then now he can actually freely move around the country. Was the deputy president sincere on what he really wanted at that particular moment, on what was bringing the problem between him and the president? The truthful man of God, Juan mm -hmm. Rigadi mm -hmm. is a calculating politician. Okay. He knows his game. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I laughed at people who said he was a one-term MP. You remember mm -hmm. me saying, do they really understand that the son of Mau Mau? Mm -hmm. He knows how to play his game. And all those things you saw were evidence of a hand that is knows politics mm -hmm. and you can see everything has paid off 
those who thought they could ridicule him, mm -hmm. talk at him, well, he's having the last laugh. They are okay. at home. Mm -hmm. He's still the deputy president. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And, and not just the deputy president, he has come out stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, going by what you're saying, he is now fully in charge of the Central Kenya region. Yes. Mm. Okay, make me understand this. Now that he's fully in charge of uh, Central Kenya region, you told me that uh, the president, uh, the last conversation that we had with you, is that uh, President Tutu has actually lost significance, um, uh, a significant amount of influence in that particular region. Do you think having Gashago by his side right now till the very end will perhaps help him revitalize that? Yeah, if, if, if the president uh, recognizes and appreciates the fact that uh, Gashagwa is, uh, is, is important in his design political design mm -hmm. and that mount kenya is something uh, is a region he can't ignore mm -hmm. and by extension he can't ignore Agashagwa. if he recognizes that and acts accordingly mm -hmm. he will benefit from mount kenya votes okay Gashagwa will still convince the people to go with the president okay even as a strategize mm -hmm. to take over power in future mm -hmm. only Gashagwa can do that so that's what you, you cannot get Mount Kenya votes mm. if you are Ruto without Gashagwa. Okay. But Gashagwa mm -hmm. can convince the people of Mount Kenya okay. that it is in our interest to support Ruto so that we take over in 2032. Mm -hmm. He can convince them. Mm -hmm. He can tell them anything else is a gamble. This is a sure bet. Mm -hmm. And they can go. Hmm. Yeah. One of the people who has been perceived as being sort of uh, uh, a, a, a thorn here for the deputy president, though that has not been uh, manifested publicly, is, is uh, the son of Mulembe, Musalia Mudavadi. Now, in the first place, tell me, how do you think, what do you think was the reason behind uh, Musalia's survival in uh, the cabinet uh, page? You know... The president was dismissing cabinet secretaries, mm -hmm. ministers. Mm -hmm. In the Kenya Kwanzaa arrangement, Salem Dabadi is not an ordinary minister. Okay. He belongs in some superstructure mm -hmm. where you find the president, the deputy, and then Salem Dabadi. Okay. So I think it's on the basis of that that he was left behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, to address your issue of why, whether he's a thorn in the fresh. Oh, how Musalia does not threaten Gashago in any way, in any imaginable way. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. Okay. For example, I've said many times, the only way Mudabadi can have a chance mm -hmm. at the presidency, if he, he did it in 2027, mm -hmm. does he have the courage? The answer is no. The other way is if Ruto takes Mudabadi as his running mate in 2027. Mm -hmm. Is that most likely to happen? The answer is no. Why? That is tempting fate mm -hmm. on the part of the president. Mm -hmm. He needs Mount Kenya badly. And therefore, there's no way mm. the president can replace Gashagwa and put it there, place him with Mdabadi. So how is Mdabadi a threat to Gashagwa? Mm -hmm. He's un because to lie to Mdabadi and the lawyers by extension that we will make you president in 2032, mm -hmm. is completely laughable. Mm -hmm. Completely laughable. Mm. He will be no match to the truthful man of God. Okay. Because under only those two circumstances, can Mudabadi have a chance at the president and therefore a threat to Kachagwa. One, if, he's there, if he runs in 2027, mm -hmm. I've said that's unlikely and he has come from him that he supports William Ruto because nobody can beat William Ruto. Mm -hmm. That's not Manyora speaking, that's Musalia Mudabadi. Mm -hmm. So he will not run. The other one, which gives him half a chance or some fighting chance, is if Mudabadi is made the running mate mm -hmm. by Ruto in 2027. Mm -hmm. That is not going to happen because it will be political suicide on the part of the president mm -hmm. to abandon the Gashagwa and Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. So how does Mudabadi become there a was, threat to Gashagwa? There was that push. There was that push uh, for ANC to be dissolved and uh, join yes, the UDM. Yes, yes. And there was also that kind of suggestion that uh, the UDA party should now have two deputies. Yes. Most likely, the, the, the immediate person who would be seen as a formidable candidate for that would be uh, uh, Musalia Mudavadi. Why are you then saying here that uh, uh, he is not a threat? In fact, there was a provision that mm -hmm. there will be two, three party leaders, okay. deputy party leaders. Mm -hmm. The son of Mamo cannot have anything like that. Mm -hmm. 
But assuming it went. Can you actually rule out... It will not happen when the son of... Can you, can you when the son of Ma Mao Mao, who is a truthful man of God, uh -huh. Uh -huh is still the deputy president. There can be nobody sharing that space with he him. He is the deputy party leader here. Yeah. And uh, de definitely recently we've witnessed the kind of uh, uh, chaos that have uh, mad or rather that have been associated with uh, the leadership of this particular party. Yes. So you uh, answer my question this way. In the event that it so happened, yes. as much as you're saying that it cannot happen, do you then think that Musalia Mudava would not fit there? If they wanted another... If the party would want to have three two, deputy party leaders... Three, so Musalia would be there. Musalia would be there. And that's why uh -huh. they quickly abandoned mm -hmm. that experiment. It is there in writing, mm -hmm. but they could not have it because Gashagwa, mm -hmm. who is son of Mau, mm -hmm. and a truthful man of God, mm -hmm. cannot share that space with anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's a threat. Because we are in, the, in a world called politics... Mm -hmm. Gashagwa cannot share that space with Mudavad. He will not allow it. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. It will not happen. Okay. Because there are many things Gashagwa can do to make life very difficult for Ruto. Mm -hmm. And that's why Ruto cannot, attempt, cannot try that. Mm -hmm. He can only tell Mudavad, I'll make you president in 2032. Mm -hmm. Quietly, behind the, the tent. Okay. But not in the tent. Mm -hmm. Not when the son of Mau Mau is there. <laughs> <laughs> I credit what you're saying with yeah. Gashagwa being fully uh, in charge of the Central Kenya region. Yes, yes, yes. Musalia Mudavadi being here, of course, is from the Western region. And he's not in charge of Western. You're saying it? he's not in charge of Western. Yes, I'm not saying. Raila Odinga is on the other side. And perhaps the president is losing his influence on the Mount Kenya region. Yes. Let me make me understand this. How then should the president... I do think that the president perhaps is playing his political cards right. And would the dismissal of uh, uh, Mudavadi be of any significant consequence? To dismissal, as in if you dismissed him. If at all it was dismissed. Be no, there would be no consequences, political consequences. The only thing would be uh -huh. the president is trying to play gentleman. That he had elevated Musalia Mudavadi uh -huh. to a principal level. Okay. Where it is him, Gashagwa, running and uh -huh. Mudavadi running government. Uh -huh. So it's awkward. It's not being a gentleman to touch him, mm -hmm. but there's, there will be no consequence. Okay. The president will lose nothing if he dismisses Mdabadi tomorrow, mm -hmm. because Mdabadi does not have much okay. control of Western. Mm -hmm. yeah. so we but have... Mdabadi combining with Raila was going to be lethal, mm -hmm. but they played it wrongly. Okay. They allow this Gen Z, Gen Z thing mm -hmm. to eat into their scheme. Mm -hmm. You see, if it wasn't for the Gen Z revolution, mm -hmm. Mudavadi teaming up with Raila would have been lethal enough to harass Gashagwa mm -hmm. in 2027, 2032. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gashagwa, Raila, Uhur, uh, of course, Uhur not actually in the picture, but then mm -hmm. Gashagwa, Raila Odinga, and uh, of course, we have here Musalia Mudavadi yes. and the president there. And he actually thinks of uh, perhaps running again and re getting this uh, <laughs> back, the, the presidency in 2027. <laughs> Now, how then should he play these things, knowing very well that, of course, uh, Raila is here, and if at all he supports him, then maybe he stands a better chance of getting back. It is simple. Raila's support for Ruto does not count for much. So it that won't help Ruto. Should we rule out that? It doesn't help him. Okay. Ruto is safe with Gashagwa and Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. We can make friends with Raila, stick with Mdavadi. Mm -hmm. That's just bonus. But the structure, the, the structure itself, mm -hmm. eh? the superstructure itself, is Mount Kenya with Ruto. That is, that is the, the framework mm -hmm. without which the house will collapse. Mm -hmm. Ruto has no house without Gashagwa. It will collapse. Anybody else comes to strengthen that house, you know, mm -hmm. but not the structure itself. Once you, you demolish, once you remove Mount Kenya, you have demolished Ruto's house. Mm -hmm. It has no legs. It can't stand. Mm -hmm. Let noble lie to him. Okay. And he will be exposed. And I've said this many times. The moment you part ways with Gashagwa and Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. your underbelly is exposed. And the people can see how weak and vulnerable you are. Mm -hmm. Raila will be the first person to run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once you severe relationship with Ruto, with the, with the Gashagwa and Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. if you are Ruto, mm -hmm. the first person to run against Ruto will be Raila Odinga. Okay. He'll see a through pass. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it has never been easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> so he'll, he'll abandon his AU bidden. Oh, of course, and he will abandon any 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 arrangement he has with Ruto. He had with Ruto, mm -hmm. and he will run, mm -hmm. and he stands a very high chance of winning mm -hmm. because it will be him against the truthful men of God mm -hmm. in a rerun, mm -hmm. in a in a runoff. Mm -hmm. It will be Raila and Gashagwa. Raila Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. If 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 Raila runs, Gashagwa runs. Gashagwa runs because if Ruto abandons Gashagwa. Mm -hmm and tries to embrace anybody else. Gashagwa will run. Okay. Obvious. Either he will support somebody like Alonzo or Raila, but he could also run. Mm -hmm. And if Gashagwa ran in 2027, mm -hmm. he will be one of the two remaining for a runoff. Mm -hmm. And that other person will most likely be Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. But during this particular period, you're saying that the president should not actually uh, perhaps seek the help of uh, the former PM? No, it's it's making things worse. Mm -hmm. Raila and Ruto mm -hmm. can relate and help each other, but behind the scenes, mm -hmm. quietly. Mm -hmm. Anytime Raila shows his hand, mm -hmm. his head, mm -hmm. his face, mm -hmm. he makes things worse. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the one saying. <laughs> do, 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 do I'm not the one saying. You do, are saying you are saying. Do you think the, the president understood this because at this particular they, they, moment, no. because at this particular, I don't moment, blame them. He didn't even go uh, to seek the help of uh, Rigadi Kashagu, of course, the deputy president, yes. who was seemingly is part of this uh, administration. Uh -huh. Neither did he seek the help of Musalia Mudavadi. Yes. He went straight for Raila. He thought once I have Raila, everything's done, mm -hmm. but he got it wrong. Okay. Yeah. So that has not worked. For it does not work, and it cannot work. Mm -hmm. It will not work. No, okay. Raila will not help Ruto at all. At all, not at all. It will make things worse. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. The president is better off politically stake, sticking with Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. And then doing the right things for this country, mm -hmm. winning back the goodwill that is lost, mm -hmm. the confidence levels being buoyed. Mm -hmm. Let Kenyans once again begin believing in him. Mm -hmm. And then he can call and dialogue. Mm -hmm. Raila will attend that dialogue just like any other Kenyan, okay. not as the main player. Mm -hmm. Because the moment Raila becomes the main player, mm -hmm. then the whole thing collapses. Okay. Yeah. But remember all these things we are saying here, we are discussing here, uh, would be happening if at all the president survives the onslaught by the Gen Z's here. He will survive. And they are saying they are leaderless. They are troublers. Yeah, they, are. they don't care. They are an idea. Gen Z is an idea. <laughs> it's not a right. person. Uh -huh. How can an idea? It's an idea. It's not a question of, uh -huh. it's not a question of structure. So within it's that, not a question within, of a leader. Uh -huh. It's an idea. Within the normal political matrix, there at the center lies the Gen Z idea that you're talking about yes. here. And I wonder whether the president will survive that. But you're saying he may. He may survive. Okay. Me, I have no doubt in my mind that the president can survive this thing very easily. Mm -hmm. It's not a big problem. It's a simple problem. Okay. We, the, if the Genesis were a force that wants to take power, mm -hmm. that would be a different game. Mm -hmm. But I'm convinced the Gen, Gen, Gen Zs are not about taking power. Mm -hmm. The Genesis just want their fathers and mothers to run this country in a good way. Mm. That's all. That's all? There's nothing else more than that. There's nothing else more than that.